Hey guys, so recently I received an email from a subscriber asking how can I create a signature that's been written on paper and make it digital? So I thought I'd create this quick tutorial to help my subscriber and share it with you. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create your digital signature in Adobe Photoshop with a transparent background. Along the way, we will be using the Color Range tool and the Minimize tool in Photoshop. Now, first of all, you're going to need to get your signature written on paper. Ideally, you want to get the signature written with a pen with a relatively large tip, something like this. This will enable you to get a nice scan or photo and help achieve a more clear result in Photoshop. Though, if you have to work with a signature that was written using a ballpoint pen like this, which appears more slimline, this might be a little bit more tricky. So for this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to manage both. Now notice these signatures are set on yellow backgrounds, and one is in red and one is in blue. Well, I have on purposely created this tricky situation in order to demonstrate how to deal with it. When we are finished, we are going to end up with these clean and clear signatures set on transparent backgrounds, and we will also have the flexibility to change their colour if we like. If you wish to follow along with this tutorial, you can download these two images in the description and have a go yourself. Okay, so once you have your signature, you need to get it onto your computer. Now you can either scan your signature or take a photo. In this case, I'm going to use my iPhone. So try and get a fairly clear shot like you see here. Though if you use a scanner, try and scan it at about 300 dpi. So I'm going to start with the thick tip signature in red. So once you get the image onto your computer, we are going to open it up in Photoshop. Now the first thing I'm going to do is crop my signature. So with the crop tool selected, draw a crop area around your signature and press enter. Now this image was taken using my camera. So let's take a quick look at the resolution. If I come to image, image size, I can see that the resolution is 72. Now depending on what you have planned for your signature, be it print or digital, you will have to change this. So I'm going to prepare this ready for print. So I'm going to change the resolution to 300 dpi and change the width to about 10 centimeters. And with constrained proportions checked on, it should automatically change my height. And press OK. So now I'm happy uh, that this image is at the correct resolution and, and at a reasonable size. Next, I'm going to come to Image Mode and select Grayscale. Now you can see we have this gray shadowy texture around the signature. Well, I need to get rid of this. To do this, I'm going to come up to Image, come down to Adjustments and select Levels. Now, you are going to be able to tweak the contrast of this image, and I'm about to make the grey area around the outside of the signature white. So now I'm going to click and drag each handle in on the left and right to push up the contrast, like so. And then I can fine-tune fine the middle handle until I get almost a white area around my signature, or at least as much as possible. Okay, so now I am about to cut away the entire white area around my signature. First, I need to come to my Layers panel, and at the moment, you should see your image is on a single layer with this little padlock icon here. Now, I need to release this padlock in order to take the next steps. I can unlock this layer by double-clicking on it, and just click OK. Now the little padlock has disappeared. Great. So next, I'm going to come to the top menu, click on Select, and click All. Now you have a selection all around your image. Then I will come up to Edit and select Cut. Now you will see a grid of white and grey squares. This is Photoshop representing transparency. So next, I need to come to the Layers panel and click the top right menu button and select New Layer, and just click OK. Now come to Edit and select Paste. So now we have effectively created our new signature layer on top of a transparent layer in the Layers panel. Next, I'm going to make sure I have the signature layer selected. Then I'm going to come to Select, scroll down and click Color Range. Now you will get this menu appear 
and this is Photoshop asking you what color you wish to select. So I'm going to move my mouse cursor onto my image and the cursor has changed into this eyedropper icon. Now I need to select a color, so I'm going to select the white and click OK. Now you will see that the color range tool has selected all the white in my image and then I'm simply going to press delete and then I'm going to press command D to deselect. Now we can see the signature is set on a transparent background. Next I'm going to come back to my layers panel and select the transparent layer below. Now I'm going to select my paint bucket tool and fill this in white so I can see my signature more clearly. Now, if you wish to change the color of your signature, this can be done quite easily. First, I need to come back to Image, Mode, and change it from Grayscale to CMYK. And remember to click Don't Merge. This will maintain my layers. Now, I had to do this because if I tried to change the color on Grayscale, then it wouldn't work. So I had to change it back to CMYK to enable me to use color. Next, I will come to the Layers panel and double click on your signature layer and you will pull up the Layer Styles menu. Now I'm going to come to Color Overlay and check this box and if I select a color in the option to the right, I can effectively change the color to whatever I like. Once I'm happy, I will click OK. And if I toggle the visibility of the white layer below, I can then easily save this signature with a transparent background. So that's how you can isolate and modify your signature in Photoshop. Now let's take a look at the other signature. This one was written using a ballpoint pen and has a much slimmer appearance. Now I want to show you a little technique that will help you get a good quality result should you find yourself in this situation. So I'm going to apply the same process to this image as earlier. First, crop the image. Then I'm going to change the resolution of the image to 300 dpi. Make sure it's about 15 centimeters wide. Then I will make the image grayscale. Then use levels to boost the contrast between the signature and the surrounding area. Then I will release the layer and cut and paste it onto a new layer. Then I will use the color range tool to select the white area and delete this away from the signature. Then I will fill the bottom layer white so I can clearly see my signature and finally change the image mode to CMYK. Okay, so here is the current result. Now, it's okay, but I feel it's a little slim. I would like to make it a little more bolder. So to do this, with the layer selected, I can come up to Filter, scroll down to Other and select Minimum. Then you will have this menu box appear. Now here we can toggle the radius. The bigger the radius, the bolder the signature will become. So on this occasion, I'm going to set this to two, as I only want to increase this slightly, and click OK. So if I press undo, we can see what we had before, and we can see what we had after. So if you feel your photo or scan of your signature is too slim, then you can use this technique to make it just a little bit more bolder. So, like earlier, if we want to change the colour, we can simply double click on the layer to pull up the layer styles and activate the colour overlay and choose a colour. This time I will go for a dark blue. So that's it. Now, if you want to export your signature on a transparent background for a website or email tag, you will have to change the colour profile from CMYK to RGB. And if I toggle the visibility of the bottom layer to set it on a transparent background, you can go ahead and save this as either a GIF or a PNG. But remember, you might also want to change the resolution to 72 dpi and change the size accordingly. So that's how you can create a digital signature in Adobe Photoshop dealing with both thick and slim pen tips. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you liked the tutorial, go ahead and click the like button on my Facebook fan page and even add me as a friend. If you wish to hear about more up and coming video tutorials and general creative news and updates, you can follow me on Twitter. And of course, check out and subscribe for free to the tastytudes.com website.
Don't forget, you can download the images you saw in this tutorial to take a closer look and have a go yourself. The links are in the description. Well, that's it for another video, brought to you by tissitutes.com. Have fun guys, and I'll see you next time.